South Carolina has been home to craft brewers for 22 years. In the past five years, new laws favoring them have made it easier for the industry to take off. But some craft brewers say certain laws are still holding them back. Here in South Carolina, the laws are archaic when it comes to you know, the, the heavy taxes on, on uh, making beer, um, the fact that you can't self-distribute. With few exceptions, beer is distributed through a three-tier system in South Carolina. Brewers use wholesale distributors who bring it to retailers like grocery stores where you can get it. It's been this way since the end of Prohibition in the 1930s. South Carolina is one of just 13 states where brewers can't distribute their own product. They can't cater your backyard barbecue with kegs or even restock a local restaurant that runs out. If someone were to run out of our beer out in the market, let's say, and our distributor can't make it to them, but they, if they could run over here and grab a keg to get them through the weekend, um, that would be a great thing, you know, to help the, the flow of things. Epstein Small says New South like Brewing this. has formed excellent relationships it with its distributors, so even if they were allowed to self-distribute, they wouldn't. But that's not true for Thomas Lucas. He owns Home Brewers Pantry in Conway and hopes to own a brewery in the next two years. His will be so small, he says only self-distribution will make sense. We want to load a van full of 50 kegs and hire a kid to go sell them um, because we as a nano brewery, I mean, we're planning on doing like 500 barrels a year, where New South is doing 2,500 barrels a year. He says if laws don't change in two years, he won't distribute at all. The only way you'll taste his craft beer is in a tap room. If Big Beer does not want these craft breweries opening. Lucas says the laws aren't changing because of the big breweries. I checked with the National Institute on Money and State Politics. According to the site, the South Carolina Beer Wholesalers Association donated more than $35,000 to candidates in 2014. They gave us a statement saying we want craft beer to grow in South Carolina and we want to help it grow. By using our expertise in distribution and product promotion, a brewer can use his time, resources, and expertise to brew excellent beers. While current laws in South Carolina may restrict growth of small breweries, the executive director of the South Carolina Brewers Guild says your choices have never been greater. Just in terms of the number of breweries and the number of different styles and, and, and particular takes on a style and variations, there is something for everybody out there. And how can you keep it that way? Bristow says by buying and drinking local. Jordan Schumann, ABC 15 News.